I think it's very recognizable and poignant when something catches your ear. You instantly kind of get hooked and then you want to feed off more of that. John Adams is such a prolific composer worldwide and his very unique style I think has become kind of an icon of American music. Fearful Symmetry has always stood out to me as a very danceable piece and one of his greatest in my opinion it is a cascade of ideas that never end and it keeps a momentum and a emotion that's going throughout the entire piece. There's so many hidden gems in it that the further you delve in the more you can find and the more you can pick out different aspects of the orchestration. The piece is fiendishly difficult and wonderful at the same time. It almost becomes slightly ambiguous at times where you don't decipher who people are, but you see them as a pack. Saying that, everyone kind of has a moment to shine, and I wanted to use it almost like a very healthy competition where I want everyone to steal focus. And it has to have a certain sensual quality, almost very animalistic in the terms that they approach something or the intention within their eyes. There is no scenery. The lighting really becomes the house in which the dancers inhabit. David Finn did a fantastic job of kind of rigging this all up and it was very mathematical and it almost verges on perfect symmetry but then will kind of morph into something that just transforms in, in kind of in front of your eyes. The way he shifts the world is exquisite. When I come here and work with these dancers, it really feels like a home away from home because they are incredible people aside from their dancing ability. Their personas and the amount of warmth that they put into my work, it's a brilliant feeling. As a dancer, I was always drawn to the big scores where you have to concentrate and where you've had to use your brain just as much as you use your body. And what I wanted was for the dancers here to have that kind of same experience where you get to the end of the piece and you might not be able to breathe or not be able to move by the end of it, but you get the biggest sense of accomplishment. You felt like you've achieved something as a collective group.